Hi, my name is Matt Philippi, and this is a demo on how to connect Tableau Desktop Professional to Amazon Redshift. Uh, Redshift is their data warehouse uh, product, uh, massively parallel processing. You can start with the cluster and add clusters. As your database gets bigger, it's a column store database, so it's perfect for analytic and uh, read workloads. And then, of course, Tableau is uh, you know the best in class data visualization. Uh, product and we will be using uh, SQL Workbench to connect to Redshift. You can find me on LinkedIn at uh, Matt Philippi, CPA and Business Intelligence Architect. I have my YouTube page here, MDSS98108, but if you just go to YouTube and Google my name, you'll find my page. And then I have a Tableau public page as well. As I just said, here's the basic architecture. Uh, I really think Redshift, I mean, if you have an on-premise data warehouse, I'm not sure why you wouldn't want to strongly consider moving it to this. To me, really one of the competing, nice competing products would be the Azure SQL Data Warehouse. And I might like that just because they use the T-SQL flavor of SQL, uh, whereas uh, Redshift is ANSI SQL. So, um, if you have background in T-SQL, you might find that a little more powerful, but this is just an extremely powerful product. We will be using uh, AWS, so um, this, you know, cost and security uh, are your responsibility to understand. Um, I won't be going through best practices uh, for those. This is just to connect, get Tableau connected to Redshift. So we have six steps. One, we're going to launch a Redshift cluster. We'll just launch a single node. Then we're going to connect to, to the cluster via S SQL Workbench. Then we're going to create a table and insert, insert some data. Then we're going to connect Tableau Desktop Professional using the Amazon Redshift connector. Then we will uh, extract some data, create a dashboard, and then finally when we're done, we're going to delete the Redshift cluster to stop paying for the resources. Step one, we're going to launch a Redshift cluster. And before I even start here, I will do a warning about cost. You are actually taking up a physical machine. So if you leave this on, forget to delete it when you're done, and you don't need it, you will be charged. And you can rack up a nice bill quickly. Uh, it's a little different than some of the EC2 micro free tier. No, Redshift, you leave it on, it's going to cost you. So at the end of this, we'll, we will delete the cluster, but just fair warning. So I'm in my dashboard here, my Amazon dashboard, Redshift. You can also find it down here. Actually, I forget where it is. It's not in analytics. It is in database. So Redshift. OK, so I'm going to go launch a cluster. Call this Matt Tableau. We'll just call this Tableau Matt Database Name Tableau. I'll put in a and then I'll put in my password, and you will definitely want to remember this. For both my SQL workbench and uh, Tableau. Okay, so we're just going to do a single node. No changes here. Continue. Uh, no changes here. What's important is publicly accessible, and that should take care of the firewall in the ports. Continue. Okay, so on demand hourly rate for this cluster is 33 cents. So do the math. It's about uh, so. $3.33 for every 10 hours. Uh, that's per node. So if you launch multiple nodes, <laughs> times that. So we're just launching a single node. But if I do leave it on for like a week or two weeks, it will add up. So launch cluster. And cluster Tableau Mat is being created. So I'm going to click here, view clusters on your dashboard. And I will actually, I'll do one thing here. I'll start the stopwatch. approximate time and I'll pause okay 15 seconds in here you can see this 
the cluster is being created and then the database right here also needs to be activated so I will pause it again here okay four and a half minutes in uh, the cluster is available we're still waiting for the database to come back healthy so I will pause again okay great so the cluster is available the database is healthy and we're ready to go and that took about six minutes from when I pressed the launch button step two connect to SQL Workbench via Redshift JDBC so we're going to connect to Redshift uh, via the SQL Workbench and if I go out here uh, I'm going to I've already downloaded uh, SQL Workbench okay this is not the same as my SQL Workbench it's just SQL Workbench. So I downloaded the current stable version here and then here's my SQL Workbench when I open it. I'm going to go to File. I'm going to go to Manage Drivers. Okay. I'm going to create a new driver. I'll call it Amazon Redshift JDBC and here's the driver that I downloaded, the jar file from the Amazon website. Open that. Uh, I don't think I really need the sample URL because I'm going to have to... Well, I could get it actually. So I put the sample URL right here. But actually, so eh, I'll skip that now and do it in another spot. Okay, so I just saved that. I'm going to go to connect window. And again, once you go to connect window, you can actually go to manage drivers here I can see the driver that I just created so I'm gonna come up here I'm gonna create the Amazon Redshift JDBC driver right here and so what I need now is a JDBC URL and then the username and password that I created and then I will want auto commit and I'm going to reemphasize you need auto commit so uh, obviously that's a little different than some of the other clients if you don't uh, do that then you'll have to write commit into every statement that you do so it's better just to for demo purposes to check auto commit and um, so let's go back to Redshift here so here I am I'm on my dashboard Redshift dashboard clusters okay and I'm actually going to click on the cluster name here and then down here you have the JDBC URL okay so I'm going to copy that and then put that up here. Okay, and then type in the username that I created, the, the password that I created. Let's see here, let's test it. Yes, connection successful. I'm going to click OK. Okay. I already have a worksheet in here, so I'll just create a new worksheet. New add tab, so I can just do the old quick select one, and there it works. Step three, uh, we're going to create a table and insert some data into Redshift via SQL Workbench. So go back to SQL Workbench and before we do that I just want to emphasize one thing again, connect window, so file connect window, have the auto commit checked otherwise you'll have to put commit in all your statements and if you don't have that checked and you don't put commit you're going to be running statements and you're not going to be able to see your data. It'll just be suspended waiting for you to, to commit the data. So make sure the auto commit is checked. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a table, create table color shape combos and we'll do a identity column here to start, create an ID. Okay, started at, seated at one, incremented at one, color of our car 20 shape of our car 20 quantity int 
don't really have to put that in there but do that for Tableau purposes and then uh, so let's create the table okay. do a quick select star so we won't uh, see the columns there's our columns no data so let's put some data in there Table name, columns, okay, values, okay, red. Let's do a red square. And how about two for a quantity? And we'll just why don't we copy that down a few times change the names. So I'm going to just do a, about a blue triangle. And why not make that a four? How about a yellow star? Make that a six. And then maybe a purple Here a circle, and then maybe a, a green plus. Put that at ten. Like I said, you don't need these quantities, but I like to put it in there just because Tableau is fun sometimes to just put stuff in and see what Tableau spits out. So kind of, if you can add stuff just to see what happens if you're playing around didn't like it so let me pause here and figure out what, what I did wrong ah don't need this okay great got some data in there let me run my select star again and then there's our data and then uh, hey what the heck why not just run it again okay step four uh, connect tableau desktop professional using the Amazon Redshift connector so I am in Tableau here keep in mind that this is only for the desktop professional that you have all these connectors so to a server if I do more it's already over here but if I do more you'll find the Amazon Redshift right here I'm gonna click on Redshift and then I'm going to actually go back and so I want to find my server here so I'm gonna go back to my Tableau dashboard so if you go to clusters click on the cluster name you'll see the endpoint right here so I'm going to copy that endpoint over the endpoint has the port at the end you do not want the port in the string because Tableau has already put the port in there for you so I accidentally copied the port there so I'm going to make sure that I delete that and the colon as well so make sure you delete the colon and the port okay that the port's already provided. So the database name is Tableau. Uh, username is Matt. And then I'm going to put that password I am when I created the cluster. Sign in. There we go. So there's the database. And then the schema is actually public because I didn't create a, a schema. It just defaults to public. And you can see our table, color, shapes, combos. Okay, step five, the fun part. Extract data, data and create a dashboard. So we just connected. Here's my table. I'm gonna drag my table up here. Okay, click update now. It's gonna load the data. Remember I ran the insert statement twice. So I'm gonna go down to my sheet here. Then I'm going to shape and then we can do uh, quantity let's see here what I really want is I want a scatter plot right here okay so why don't I drop color into color 
drop shape into shape. And then now I can fix those. So I'm going to actually go into color here, edit the colors. Blue is blue, green is not green, so I'm going to change green to green. Purple, red, and yellow. So those are good. And then my shapes, I think I want filled in shapes. So for my circle, that's good. For my plus, I want that square. Let's change that to a square. The star is right here, and then the triangle is there. So I think we're good. Here's the idea as well. Let's see here if I draw. So, oh, maybe I can make that a little bigger. And then there's our green plus purple circle, yellow star, blue triangle, red square. Last step, super duper important here because you can rack up a nice bill if you forget to delete resources and you don't want to use them. Uh, so the Redshift cluster, I'm going to go back into my dashboard. So go Redshift dashboard, go into the cluster, click on the cluster name itself, and then you can go up to cluster here and delete the database create snapshot. No, I will not create a snapshot in this case. I have to check this box and then I will delete. And then now the cluster itself is deleting. Very important if you don't want an unexpected surprise charge in your credit card. So that concludes the demo here. Uh, just Amazon Redshift, how to connect it to Tableau, and then we used a SQL Workbench uh, as the development database development app for Redshift. And again, this is what we're right here is Amazon Redshift was the connector that we used. So thanks for watching. Again, my name is Matt Phillippe. You can connect with me on LinkedIn, CPA Business Intelligence Architect on YouTube. MDSS98108 is the user. Or otherwise, you can Google or YouTube my name, Matt Phillippe, and then I have my Tableau public page. Thank you.